in regards to handling crossbred wool, it, uh, it's a lot lighter weight fleeces. They're a lot more bulky fleeces, um, and sometimes they have trouble holding together. Got a lot more length than uh, merino, um, and in regards to merino, they must be kept separate from such a thing. We can't have cross contamination happening in the shed because problems with that then flows on down the chain. You're talking micron differences can be up to 10 microns difference in a lot of cases. This is considered cross contamination within merino fleece wool. It's important to understand that we need to have mob cutouts, wool cutouts, and breed cutouts and everything must go to a purpose. And that's very important when it comes to crossbred and merino wool.